I go to Vietnam, the full interesting story. Hello, my name's Sam. This is a my story. I want to tell you about my travel in Vietnam. I want to tell you a beautiful place and people in Vietnam. You can read my story. You can explore Vietnam from my story. Part 2. The next morning, after I woke up, the first thing that happened in front of my eyes was the sparkling golden sunlight of dawn. The gentle waves kept hitting the shore. I felt very comfortable and full of energy for this trip. I got up and cleaned myself. Then, after about twenty minutes, I started to go to meet the receptionist of this hotel. They guided me to the buffet place and introduced me to the rules of the Enhais Trang Center Hotel I was staying at. I followed the receptionist and saw that she was very beautiful and kind. This was the first time I came and felt the culture and also got in touch with the Vietnamese people. I miss it so much. I continued to follow the receptionist to the dining table that they had prepared for me. The way the Vietnamese decorated the room and the dining table was very colorful. The dishes were very rich, and there were some dishes I had never eaten before ever. The most impressive thing for me was the crab soup. When I ate it, it was very spicy, and the crab flavor was unforgettable. After finishing breakfast, I was introduced by the staff here to the places that I could go to in Nha Trang City, such as Vin Pearl Land, Institute of Oceanography, Hon Moon Island, Hon Tam Island, and many more that I can't remember. I listened to her introduction for about five minutes, and then I started to catch the bus for my trip. I hopped in a bus. We were driving in the lane when suddenly a black car jumped out of a parking space right in front of us. My taxi driver slammed on his brakes, skidded to a halt, and missed the other car by just inches. The driver of the other car whipped out of the vehicle and started yelling at us. My taxi driver just smiled and waved at the guy in an oddly friendly way. So I asked, why did you just do that? This guy almost ruined your car and sent us flying straight to the hospital. This is when the taxi driver taught me what I now call the law of the garbage truck. He explained that many people are like garbage trucks. They run around full of garbage, frustration, anger, and disappointment, etc. As garbage piles up, they need a place to dump it, and sometimes they'll dump it on you. About fifteen minutes later, I also arrived at Vinpearl Land. At a glance, I saw the awe of this place. I heard the people here tell, Vinpearl Land is located on the beautiful Hontre Island in the middle of the sea and the Blue Beach all year round. Vinpearl Land is known as the tourist destination of Na Trang, the paradise of the tropics that attracts all visitors. In addition to the amusement parks for families and children, Vinpearl Land also has Vinpearl Water Park, with slides with the largest slope of 21.5 muons. This entertainment area usually serves guests who like thrills in which a 56 meter long horror cave will also satisfy the passion of exploration of many young visitors. Moreover, this place also attracts visitors by the magnificent 4D cinema. In addition to the usual means of transportation, such as canoes, taxis, speedboats and ferries, visitors can also go to Hontre Island by a cable car system 3,120 meters long. This is the longest cable car in the world with nine pillars on the sea and land. 
The cable has a structure similar to the Eiffel Tower, especially at night. It will be lit by laser. This cable system can transport 1,000, 1,500 people, hour. Thanks to that, the travel between the island and the mainland is easier because it is a place far from the mainland and separated by the sea. So I had to move by cable car to get there. The feeling of standing on the basket and moving through each wave, the wind blowing around my ears for a moment to set foot on the first tourist destination of Vietnam also arrived. There are many high-class resorts here, many amusement parks to serve visitors here,